Hi everyone. Uh, so I thought I would give you an updated video on how I've got all my Pathfinder stuff collected and around for use. And the first thing I'm going to say is before you watch any more of this video, there may be spoilers for the fall of Plague Stone. The only reason I say that is because I do have some gained items, some found items that were part of the Plague Stone game that, um, my character now has, so if you've not finished playing Plague Stone, you might not want to watch the rest of my video because you might not want to spoil, spoil, spoil yourself on any of the goodies that you can find. Just thought I would put that out there. Um, so in the past month or whatever, um, I've upgraded my bag of stuff is now this lovely Harry Potter bag that I picked up in Primark several years ago. It's a makeup bag. I don't know why I bought it because I never travel with this much makeup, but um, it's been useful for other things and now it's being used for all of my miscellaneous bits and pieces for Pathfinder. So that we know works for me. But anyway, to back to my notebooks, which is now numerous notebooks. Um, so firstly, I have <laughs> the clear binder, which um, it's got the extra wide rings. And this is my archive binder. So in here, I have all of my notes from the fall of Plague Stone. And I have my uh, level one, two and three character sheets in case I ever need them for reference, in case we ever need the Plague Stone notes for reference. They're all in here. And then as we continue to play and level up and do more things and leave places, I'll probably continue to update this book with the archive notes so that way they're not taking up space in my current binder because this binder has relatively small rings. But I like this binder because I like the fact that it is uh, green felt, which goes really well with my druid. So, yeah. So, so I have this open because it came open. <laughs> but I uh, still have my little leather strap and charms. So... Inside of here, in the front pocket side, I just have the um, hit points that each of our characters uh, increases by as we play. Um, the reason that I have those here is because I helped him update our character sheets um, because they all go in my Dropbox account for the rest of our party. So I update them and we kept having to look up the number of hit points that people increased by. So we're like, you know what? I'm just going to write it down on a scrap piece of paper, shove it in there and I'll never lose it. Um, next, I've got this Filofax zipper pocket, which has nothing in it right now. This zipper pocket came out of a notebook, which, um, as you can see, I just covered it, covered the um, spiral mess with some washi tape and poked the holes in it. And this just has my some extra handmade cards. Uh, you'll see in a minute why. Um, so that anything in-game that doesn't have a card... Um, already and you can just write a card for it if you want or if you need to like continue another card you've got extra cards I've said card a lot sorry uh, then you've got my character sheet which I've again I've printed double-sided and shrank down uh, the margins are really weird though when I try to print it as a booklet so I actually wind up having to print two copies of it so that way I can have the holes not um, cut into my character, which is weird. Um, and then that is my companion sheet. So the reason that I have cards is because I purchased one of these. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's this tissue this, this paper. This is like a trading card holder. Like I almost bought a Pokemon one and then dismantled it. And then I found this for cheaper. So I picked this up off of Amazon and um, it's just, yeah, it's just, a, it's a A5 size trading card holder. And um, what you do is you can rip these out very carefully along this spine here. And then you can poke holes in them and put them into your six ring A5 binder. So I did buy the green one because just in case I couldn't dismantle it, at least the green was kind of matching, even though it's a really bright green. But anyway, so <laughs> sorry, because my uh, tripod's not very high. So I have to hold it high enough so that you can see the whole notebook and then just use one hand which defeats the purpose of the tripod but that's besides the point so anyway as you can see i have these adventure pack cards uh what we did was we bought the pdf version and then i printed them in black and white because i'm not wasting color ink uh and so i printed all the cards that i needed for myself and then this this is what i was talking about they're being spoilers for plague stone so like um the crafter's eyepiece was a piece that um i picked up in one of our 
one of our battles, and so it didn't have a card, so I made my own card. I found the font that Pathfinder uses, and I just made my own card so that I could cut it out. Um, Valerie's Alchemical Book. Uh, and then this, I made these cards that I can write on, so I've got, like, the non-expiring elixirs. Um, so that, and then obviously I erase them as we use them. So that's why there's blank lines in the middle. And then the same with the potions. I write them all down. Um, basically what I do on the one side is I write what it is. And the other side, I write, um, what it, what it does to you. Like if it's, if it's a healing elixir, how much it heals, um, and things like that. And I think I've got like, like lesser miss those three rounds. Basically I have a lot of elixirs of life, um, because I am our group's healer. So, and then the healing potions as well is what we have here. Um, there are some more potions, which you'll see in a minute. And then I also have, like, random magical ingredients. Um, I've got, like, miscellaneous items. Because the little spot to write on your character sheet, I was getting tired of erasing on it. So I just am ignoring that sheet, and I'm putting it all on these cards. So I even have, like, a little coin card where I'm keeping track of the coin that my character has in her possession. Um, so it's like a little ledger. And then, yeah, consumables, miscellaneous items. Um, as I said, like, Valerie's library, which I can't actually use because it's at her. It's at Spite's Cradle, but because I have access to it, I wanted to put it in here. And then, like, the ring, Bort's ring... Um, somebody on the Pathfinder GM group on Facebook made cards for the rings. And so then I just printed one to put it in here because that's the ring that I have. And then I have braces of missile deflection. Um, the alchemical reagent, because I do have my archetype is alchemist. So I picked up all the alchemical reagent and have to keep track of how much of it I use. So I've got this little thing to keep track of that. Uh, and then we've got my actual like character information. This is just my background. Um, and this is what we call, we called these the feet cheat sheets because basically I went through the, um, book and you, and from the PDF of the book and like copy pasted all the information for all the feats that my character has so that when I'm trying to do stuff, I can remember what I can do and how to do it, especially because I do a lot of medicine stuff and now alchemy stuff and some of it you, you have to remember it. So I've got it all there. And then I have the nifty primal spell deck cards which i originally wasn't going to buy these until we were further on into our game but they came up at a really good price um so i picked them up for 15 pounds which is not bad and so as you can see these are my cantrips and then because i have that ring i have the ring of arcana so that's the cantrips that are on the ring and then um i just picked up a healing staff which i can't use yet because i have to attune to it but um I put the cantrip that'll be on that staff. That card will go in here, um, just so that. And, and I've already labeled it. These labels, by the way, are the like they're little um, page flags. And then I have like these are potions, but they're spells that became. Um, how to explain it? It's a potion, but the potion has the spell effect. So I just took the spell card and put the spell card in here and labeled it as being a potion. And then this one is a spell scroll. So again, it's separate from my regular spells, and I labeled it as being a spell scroll. I also have a spell scroll for healing, so I have that listed here. And then because that staff is going to have two healing on it already, I've got those here ready to go. Because what I do as I'm using my spells, by the way, is um, when I use the spell, I just turn the flag like that, and then that way I know I can't use the spell again um, during, um, you know, until the sleep happens in game so those are all the spells that i have prepared and then yep and then i also made my own cards of the advanced spell cards um because i didn't want to buy the advanced spell cards simply because i am a primal spellcaster um and i don't think i'll ever need the other spell cards because i don't think i'll do the other spell castings and nobody in my group does either so i just made my own advanced spell cards um where i copied it out of the book and made my own card there and then this is my oh and as you can see i have also um little remus lupin is uh marking my spells and severus snape is marking my alchemy because you know why wouldn't he and so the same with my alchemy these are my little flags for the alchemy when i give someone one of my alchemy potions or i use one i turn the flag this way and then i know which ones i've used and which ones i haven't used and i made these cards myself um again just using all the descriptions out of the book because as far as i'm aware there are no alchemy cards 
but I really wanted alchemy cards, so I did that. And then I've got the summon fey information, um, the summon plant information, and the summon animal information, although I only have the information um, for, well, for the fays and the plants, I did all of them that were in the best area that I could summon, but for the animals, I've only done the details for negative, negative one, zero, and one, because those are the levels I can currently summon at. Wait, can I summon at two yet? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, because I didn't feel like having a huge amount. And this is, again, I took it straight out of the book. And these are, once again, just for my own reference so that I'm not flipping through the bestiary. Um, I do have to update my plants and my, and my um, phase to what's in the bestiary 2 and I guess at some point the bestiary 3. But for now, this is just stuff from the bestiary 1. Um, including my Knack Mac Fiegel, which I made up all on my own. Which, um, I'm happy to share details with that if you... Uh, if you want. So yeah, so these are the animals, the details of them. So if I summon one of them, I know exactly what they can do. Then I, I keep track of our group's money. So this is the communal money pot page. Um, I just made it up in Word, just um, a little spreadsheet, you know, basically like a regular ledger. And we're using the in-game dates. Um, so I've got the in-game date and then what the money went to or from, how much, and then the running total. And then I also created for my group a loot tracker, basically just because we wanted to make sure that we all got loot um, sufficient so that nobody was, like, hoarding all of the good stuff. So we made this, and then we made a rune table as well, um, just to show, like, what rune stones, what runes we had on what items so that we, when we wanted to move things we knew how much money it would cost to move the runes and like where it was currently so that way like cause some of the stuff we moved and all that works out and then this is where my campaign notes will go I haven't yet printed for our session for our next spot yet I haven't printed those out yet but they'll go in there and then I've got my women at warp stickers on an open ended envelope whoops losing stuff um, because I stuck them there and then I've got a spare one of those were cards because I accidentally cut too many out of my book last time. Um, so, yeah, so now I'll be crooked. Yeah, uh, go straight, please. Are you straight or are you crooked? You're crooked. Eh, sorry. Um, so, inside my bag here, there's a lot of stuff. So, first of all, I have an ice cream tub from Germany um, because. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't bring the ice cream back to the UK, but the container was like a really nice little size plastic tub, and I thought, you know, I'll find a use for that. So I brought home the little tub, and sure enough, it's got all of my little 3D printed stuff. Um, so in this cup, I've got my, my different bats for my bat. Oh, where, oh, I think I lost a bat. Oh, no, there he is. So I've got my different sizes of my bats, and then I have my... Um, friend's companion he has a jag jaguar and i have his jaguar printed as well and in my little cup here i also have my miniature for myself but that is currently with my friend being painted and then i have this celtic um dice cup that i printed because we have a 3d printer now so I'm making all sorts of stuff um i have a dice jail which occasionally gets used and then i have a hit point tracker that i can um dial the hit points up and down with so that all fits very nicely into this little ice cream tub. <laughs> I've got my new notebook. Um, so this is this note. Oops. Yeah. So this notebook, um, I got it in Germany. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> got it in Dresden. It's really pretty. And I thought it worked out. I thought it really kind of matched the vibes of my druid. So I write my notes in here now. And I still type them because I have horrible handwriting. But I've got a pretty notebook. <laughs> this is like supposed to be a pocket protector. Uh, but it came in a pack of two, so I gave one to Tim in case he needs it at work, needs it for work. And then this one I just put all my pens in, so I've got three pencils. I've got two four-color pens, um, a highlighter, and a Sharpie, just so I know where my pens are. That is a small set of dice. That's supposed to be my travel set of dice, but because we're not traveling, it's been living in this bag. Um, this little pencil case bag inside the bag has a whole bunch of spare dice that have no home. Um, they're just a bunch of miscellaneous, uh, mostly D, a lot of D8s. Um, so they're just in there. Um, I also have my battle medicine. 
I made these battle medicine ones for each of our players, each of our characters, because you can only battle medicine once per 24 hours. And so I came up with this idea that I would have this little bag with our character's name and then the two D8 of battle medicine that I can give them. And then that way, once I open this up and roll the dice for them, I don't put the dice back in this bag. I just leave the dice loose in the inner pocket of this bag. And then I know that I've already battled medicine to them. And then if a game day spans more than one day, an in-game day, in-game day spans more than one day, I'm not, like, confused when we come back to the next session trying to remember who did I battle medicine last time. So that's also why there's lots of 2D8s. Uh, what else is in here? There's all sorts of fun stuff in here. Uh, I've got some spare dice, some more dice... Um, basically these are the sets I don't like. <laughs> this set I can't read. Um, they're dark purple letters on, like, dark gold <laughs> glitter dice. I couldn't, couldn't read them, so I'm not using those anymore. Uh, these are just white and boring, so I don't really use them, but I have them. And I think these are, like, the really weird purple ones with the weird numbers. Yeah. Like, the numbers are just, fun, like, just odd-looking. So, I don't use that one either. So, I have that in this bag. <laughs> and then they're just in here because I have tons of tons and tons of dice. I have my little jewelry box where I have my pin. Well, I have Tim's pin as well, but my pin that Babs made us for our game. And then I've got my bat earrings and bat necklace um, for Sev, which came from my friend Rachel for the Crafty, crafty Anteater. I have my hole punch, which you're really excited for, I know. I've got my tabs that I use for my spells. Um, I've got the other sheet of tabs that I use for marking off other stuff. And that's that's it. That's all that's in this bag. Awesome. And my camera's going wonky again. Sorry, guys. It's going to go wonky. Then we have the big bag of dice, which I'm not opening up because let's just be honest, it's crammed full. Each of these little bags has a full set of dice. Um, I tried putting them in loose and they were falling out because this dice bag does not, um, cinch very well. Whether I have it too full or it's just not very great, I don't know. But, um, I have all my dice that I regularly use in there and there's like a shitload then I have my D6s all in here. My extra D6s because we used to play um, GURPS, which only is D6s. So I had a whole selection of D6s um, in here. And you never know when you'll need D6s. So i got a great big collection of those. And then the last thing is my dice tray that I made myself. With some fabric I got off of Etsy and a uh, picture frame. So there you go. That's all the stuff to update you on what I do to organize my Pathfinder stuff. So if you made it through this video, congratulations because I rambled and it's long. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.